how can we defend against faith systems that deny the deity of Christ? <laughs> the Bible. The Bible. <laughs> the Bible. <Right. laughs> that was an alley oop right there. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, I think it comes down to studying to show yourself approved, like the like the scripture says. Mm. Um, again, it seems like we're saying the same stuff. Like when we take a prayerful approach to the scripture, and and we know. Um, really, it comes down to two things when we're talking about other systems, other belief systems. It doesn't matter what other people teach or what other people believe. If you know what the gospel is, right, yeah. biblically, um, and you know who God is, regardless of what other people believe or what other people might say, everything's going to fall in that category of who God is and the gospel meaning how how man is made right with god mm. um and then from there you know we're able to have a, a conversation with them as far as bringing them to the to the knowledge um of the truth that that we've been um by god's grace um you know uh, mm. given i think that's what protects us yeah i would add on there um and this is something i mentioned earlier but studying the dual nature of christ that's going to be able to help you uh battle a lot of uh a lot of the objections that are out there because again you'll have people that will say he was a holy man per se right a man of god um even says things like he was the son of god mm -hmm. but they will not say he is god hmm. <laughs> right yeah <laughs> you started smiling were you thinking about something i'm just thinking about all of these episodes that i want to roll out <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah I, I, I like though. i like that one um Especially when someone says that Jesus never claimed to be God. Um, yeah. Sometimes it's best to not argue with every little point, mm -hmm. which I could do. Um, which, unfortunately, I like to do sometimes. Right. Um, but it's like, okay, you say Jesus never said he was God. Um, instead of proving that Jesus did, um, I'll just say, well, what about if the father said that Jesus was God? Mm -hmm. Would you accept that? You know what I mean? Then you go ahead and show what the father says in Hebrews chapter one. Mm. Um, and then yeah. from there, after you've proved what the father says about the son, now let me show you what the son claimed about himself. Right. And then we can view everything else from there with what his followers said about him, what he did, right. um, how did, what the demons, the demons who, who recognized who he was. Um, and so there, there's so many yeah, and like, what the prophets and the the law and the prophets said about mm -hmm. Christ. Right, that's not even going to the Old Testament right. yet. It, but all throughout the Old Testament, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. All right. So dealing with these three areas: theology, Christology, and the reliability of the scriptures, which is why we dealt with the reliability of the scriptures last episode, and we dealt with theology the first episode, and today we're dealing with Christology. Um, we see that in the scriptures. And in the Godhead and particularly the deity of Jesus, we see them being attacked so much. But if you get these three right, you can evangelize um, to almost anyone with so many methods. So if you get the scriptures right, uh, the reliability of them, learning how to explain and break down the Godhead and also proving the deity of Christ through scriptures, you're gonna be able to, to evangelize to so many people out there. Um, and then another note on top of that is that d the deity of Christ is usually the only one in the Trinity that's challenged. You ever notice that? Yeah. Well, the, the spirit is challenged also. Well, no, um, I meant that, okay. Yeah. Which one do we run across more? I would probably say the one with Jesus being um, like a challenge being or yeah i mean when you think of all the um, objections yeah I, yeah because usually yeah. okay I, and I maybe i'm assuming yeah. one thing is that most people when they see the holy spirit of god mm -hmm. they see the holy spirit of god right. or the holy spirit now, or yeah, but the they spirit of god the spirit of father spirit. Right. but they won't separate it from the father a lot of times mm. and so people who deny the trinity they're not saying that god is two persons yeah they're saying right. the father is the only god mm. um and the spirit yeah. of God, well, he's a spirit. You know, they might simplify it like that. Mm. Um, but even when you look at some uh, some stuff in history, you know, the emphasis on proving that Jesus was God. Mm -hmm. um, in, in certain cases, you don't see that same emphasis on the spirit. I've heard mm. some people say, well, now you prove the deity of Christ. I see it. But where do you where do you get this Holy Spirit being God? OK, yeah. there's no Trinity. 
whatever you would call two, yeah, the right? Dualism. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, dualistic view. I forgot how they branded, but mm. there is a there is a, a a sect out there that denies the divinity of the spirit, the Holy Spirit, but mm -hmm. the Father and the Son they accept. You know, so it is out there. Yeah, so, I believe is it the catholics put mary on the same level as the holy spirit or at least some of them in practice they yeah. do but not like in not on paper jot and tittle mm -hmm. they don't you know yeah. what i'm saying that's yeah. not part of their their doctrinal creeds but uh in practice i would say yeah yes, i was gonna say yeah not, yeah i mean they it pray was, to mary yeah so well, that's even like you know debated you know they or uh, rephrase or rebranded you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They rebrand it yeah. a certain way. We Semantics. package it. And if certain I'm not Semantics. mistaken, in, in right. the Quran, in the section on uh, Say Not Three, I think they put the Father, Jesus, and Mary in uh, mm. the Say Not Three. Right. Um, which would make sense um, with Muhammad being born in a time where there were a lot of Catholic churches. Right. Um, and you would have seen a lot of exaltation of Mary. Right. Where someone on the outside looking in or even in actual practice they were doing things um that would ascribe worship to her mm. yeah um so you can see how someone could take away um the trinity being father son and mary mm. right. um from from that pers from that person's perspective perspective yeah. um so yeah yeah there's a lot of different perspectives right. out there when it calvin was it. very aggressively against that mm. you know you could read it when i read the institutes like he, <laughs> he really you you can almost like sense the anger mm. in calvin's writing in there he was just aggressively against it mm. you know pushing back against it he he despised it so much that the catholic church was saying one thing they were saying no we're not worshiping but in practice that's exactly what they were doing in prayer you know in their services in their masses you know it was like mary was all over the place statues everywhere mm -hmm. he also despised that but i think it, it, to go back to what you were saying Wayne, in my years i would say that in my interactions with jehovah's witnesses or mormons and others that uh they're not as blatantly opposed like up front mm. it's when you have to dig and say okay i know your doctrine so why do you guys believe jesus is this and then that's when it starts mm -hmm. coming out They'll come up to you and say, hey, you know, we just want to share, you know, and want to tell you about yeah. Jesus or whatever, you yeah. know, and, and, and be nice. But then when you start unpacking like what they believe, then they start, you know, it, it, it's noticeably different. Yeah. You know, the posture and changes because it's very scripted at that point. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Then they get into what they practice, what they've been trained to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so. Uh, so, yeah, I don't think it's as blatantly something that they do at, uh, up front. But I the more you dig. But the more you dig, the Holy Spirit's a force. Mm. You know, Jesus is a created being. Uh, Michael the Archangel. Yeah. To be exact. Right? Yeah. And so, you know, and then you, you begin to see another gospel. You know, yeah. you begin to see that they're condemned because they're not believing in something that's essential. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, for sure. Yeah. I, I think those yeah. are the three biggest things that we have to debate nowadays. Like I said, uh, the reliability of the scriptures, the Godhead, and Jesus being God. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, those are like the big three right there that I think if we deal with those, we'll be able to uh, defend against yeah. so many different faith systems out there. I was reading an article earlier called The New Religions and the Deity of Jesus Christ. Um, and it's, it, it was just talking about different faiths and, and, and their statements about Jesus. Now, I'm a, I want to read a couple because um, you have so many faiths out there that say they honor christ in, in in a certain way but in reality it's not so they don't honor our lord and our god jesus right but they dishonor him by not believing in his uh divinity so the baha'i faith says jesus was not the only begotten son of god that came down from heaven crucified resurrected nor the unique savior you have christian science mary baker baker eddie says jesus christ is not god as jesus himself but is the son of god so there again you have people separating jesus isn't god but he's the son of god all right um you have scientology that says neither lord buddha nor jesus christ were operation thetans or enlightened beings according to the evidence they were just a shade above clear so that's pretty low in the scientology scale of spiritual advancement you have t tibetan 
Buddhism that says any kind of savior notion will not function 100%. Any kind of savior notion. Worshiping a deity of any kind is the wrong way and taking refuge in a father God, a father God is truly self-defeating. You have hmm. Zen Buddhism that says, um, who is Jesus? He has no name. But Jesus declares, split wood. I am there. Lift up the stone and you will find me there. Hmm. So, there, you know, obviously they're <laughs> dealing with the Gnostic. Who is Jesus? Yeah. He has no name. <laughs> and Jesus declares, split wood. I am there. Lift up the stone and you will find me there. All right. uh, Mormonism, Joseph Smith, he says, Christ is the firstborn spirit son in the eternal family. And while yet in preexistence, he advanced and progressed and became like the father mm -hmm. in power and intelligence. That is, he became a God. Mm -hmm. And so I could just go down the line. I really could. You know, the, the Jehovah Witnesses say, the incarnation is scripturally erroneous. Indeed, if he, Christ, had been an incarnate being, he could never have redeemed mankind. Hmm. So almost all of the preceding groups claim that they accept and honor Jesus. But in light of what we just read, that's impossible. There's no way that you can truly accept and honor him in the right way if you're saying those type of things. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, such groups and there's hundreds more completely disregard the biblical Jesus Christ. Instead, they reinvent a false Jesus only to make him support their own beliefs in the process of making a false God and committing idolatry. Indeed, only overwhelming evidence in favor of Christ's deity would have convinced skeptical, staunchly monotheistic and initially frightened Jews to proclaim Christ's deity to a hostile Jerusalem and later to the world. So obviously there must have been some big deal in Jesus for them to to stop believing in in, in what they were believing per se and start believing in Jesus and, and the kingdom and all of those things that Jesus was preaching. Mm -hmm. right. So 